There is a pandemic going on, and it's spreading throughout the United States. Actually, there are two pandemics. One is getting all of the headlines, the biological pandemic. And we encourage you to take appropriate precautions and stay safe and healthy, looking in on those who are most vulnerable to the virus. As for the other pandemic, it is surely the most deadly. That is the moral pandemic, undermining the fundamental pillar principles of our society. We know that the traditional family is the basic building block of society. Even the biological pandemic points to this with calls for staying at home with family. And alarmingly, the health of traditional marriage and the family is in a state of grave sickness. In fact, an incredibly large number of marriages have died. Those who are aware of this contagion have observed many powerful forces at work, actively breaking down the system of moral principles that have in the past provided the United States with relative immunity from societal breakdown. But in this 21st century, the pillars of traditional marriage, parental rights, religious liberty, and the humanity of the unborn have undergone a systemic attack. Attacks that have multiplied and magnified like a virus reaching pandemic proportions. With these infectious anti-pillar ideas spreading, the death rate for unborn human beings has skyrocketed. Tragically, these ideas have proven extremely contagious, affecting all 50 states, with millions of examples demonstrating their spread. An example that is moving its way through the legislature of Colorado is Senate Bill SB 2166, entitled Simplifying Requirements for New Birth Certificate. But based on the text of the bill, it should be called the Magical Door for Minors Act. The bill states, quote, The state registrar shall issue a new birth certificate to a person who was born in this state and who has a gender different from the sex denoted on that person's birth certificate, end quote. The bill specifies that a minor under the age of 18 can require the registrar to issue the new birth certificate, and this can be done without parental approval. When the minor finds a professional medical or mental health care provider licensed in good standing in Colorado, or with an equivalent license in good standing from another jurisdiction, who provides a statement concerning the minor that the sex designation on the birth certificate does not align with the minor's gender identity, the registrar is required to issue a new birth certificate to the minor. The minor, thereby, is enabled to obtain a birth certificate that falsifies a historical fact related to the minor, all without parental knowledge or approval. The bill specifically states that the minor is not required to undergo any specific surgery, treatment, clinical care, or behavioral health care to require the issuance of the falsified birth certificate. The registrar is required to issue a new birth certificate reflecting the new gender designation and, if applicable, the person's new name. The bill states that the falsified birth certificate supersedes the original as the official public record and must not be marked as amended or indicate in any other manner that the gender designation or name on the certificate has been changed. Some in the law enforcement community have observed that the ability to obtain a false birth certificate on an official government document presents a security threat. This is due to the fact that criminals could exploit this law in an attempt to change their identity and escape the reach of the law. Law enforcement has the already difficult task of finding criminals when they know their name and gender. They don't need lawmakers to make their job even more difficult by creating a context where even that basic information is confused by government records. This is a danger that would threaten the safety of our communities. And yet, astonishingly, the authors of the bill believe that their legislation is necessary for the immediate preservation of the public peace, health, or safety. This bill seeks to falsify public records and requires some state employees, registrars, to affirm falsified documents in their official capacity. This would be a violation of the conscience rights of these state employees who object to taking such actions. This bill violates parental rights by allowing a child to walk in the door of a government office with one name and leave with a different name, all without the parent's knowledge or approval. And the child, having walked in the door as a legally recognized male, or vice versa, subsequently walks out of the door as a legally recognized female. This bill proposes that our society be a place where our citizens, with the sanction of government, can walk through a magical door and be transformed into another person insofar as their gender and name are concerned. 
What the sponsors of this bill seek is something so far removed from reality that in coming years, Americans will look back and shake their heads in disbelief that a proposal of this type could be taken seriously. Nonetheless, the bill is on its way to becoming law in the state of Colorado. Unfortunately, no amount of social distancing has proven effective in checking the spread of this moral pandemic. In fact, in order to stop the spread of this deadly disease, we'll have to change our daily habits a bit. For starters, it's time we start practicing what many of us find to be uncomfortable, social engagement for the pillar principles. It is in this environment that the truth about these moral principles can latch on to our fellow citizens and help them see their indispensable nature for a sustainable and healthy society. Although there are risks associated with social engagement, may we be willing to speak the truth about these life and death matters so that our posterity can enjoy a healthy future in every area of their lives. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to join the Pillar Citizen community if you haven't done so already at PillarCitizen.com. Hit that subscribe button and follow us on Facebook. Until next time, this is the Patriot League's Aaron Robertson for the Pillars.